This is Bill with Tandem Cross, making good guns great. The Smith & Wesson 22 Victory is one of the most popular rimfire guns on the market, and it's a gun that we've supported for a long time. Experienced competition shooters will know that one of the biggest enhancements you can make to the gun is changing out the trigger, and to that end we offer our flat-faced Victory replacement trigger. But you can also make major enhancements by switching out the hammer, and for that, Tandem Cross is proud to offer the Thunder Hammer for a Smith & Wesson 22 Victory. The Thunder Hammer is lighter than the Stock Hammer, which reduces lock time so you shoot faster. We also improved the strut pin so that it won't fall out while you're working on it. But the most significant change that we made is to how the hammer and the sear interact. We adjusted the engagement angle between the hammer and the sear to dramatically reduce trigger pull weight. And you can fine tune the trigger pull weight by combining the hammer with the Victory Trigger. Let me show you how to install the Thunder Hammer so that you can take advantage of all of its benefits. To begin, you're going to need a few tools. You'll need a 3 seconds Allen wrench, a 1 8 Allen wrench, needle nose pliers, an empty magazine, and of course your new thunder hammer. Before we start, be sure to do a safety check. Make sure there's no round in the chamber. No mag inserted, and then we can start. So first you'll use your 1 8 sound wrench to take out the barrel screw and remove the barrel. Then you can insert your empty mag, make sure the safety's off, and drop the hammer. Then you can eject the mag. Grab your 3 seconds Allen wrench, unscrew the grip screws, and remove the grip plates. Once you take the grips off, there's a good chance that some other parts are going to come off by themselves. Um, the mag release spring will probably come out if you don't take it out yourself. The bolt stop lever will likely come out as you're working, so you might as well take that out too. And the mag release button itself. Now grab your needle nose pliers. Right in front of the safety here, there's this little depression with a spring inside. You want to pull that spring out with the pliers. And be careful not to lose it. Once the spring is out, the pin that it was wrapped around can be pushed through the opposite side of the gun. and then you can just lift the stock hammer right out. Now grab your new thunder hammer, make sure the flat side is facing towards the front of the gun and that the hammer is rotated all the way forward. And then set it in the gun where the stock hammer was. Apply a little downward pressure to help all the holes through everything line up and take that pin from before and push it through from the right side of the gun.
Now you can grab that little spring and your pliers. Make sure that it's lined up properly with the shape of the depression that it's going into. And then you can just push it back in. I find that using the pliers helps because it can definitely be tough to get this in. Then grab your bolt stop plate and put that in. There's a little hole near the rear and a larger hole near the front. The large nub at the front of the bolt stop plate goes into the larger hole and the tip of the wire spring goes into the smaller one. like so. Now grab your grips and slide them up into place. Make sure to put the mag release button and mag release spring back in before you screw the grips down. But then you can put the grip screws back in and tight everything up. Now, before we put the upper back on, it's a good idea to make sure everything's working as intended, which it seems like it is. So make sure the hammer's cocked, and then we can put the upper back on. Once your barrel is in place, you can put the barrel screw back in. And as long as everything still moves as intended, then you're done. Now it's time for a quick experiment. At the start of this video, I mentioned that you could use different combinations of hammer and trigger modifications to fine tune your trigger pull weight to suit your needs. Now I'm gonna show you exactly how that works. I have here this trigger pull weight tester. You hook the end of this metal rod around whatever you're pulling on, and the display will show how heavy your pull was. You can also get the average weight of a series of pulls. What I'm going to do is find the average weight of three trigger pulls each on four different combinations of mods, a totally stock Smith & Wesson 22 Victory, one with just the Thunder Hammer, one with just the Victory Trigger, and then finally one with both the Thunder Hammer and the Victory Trigger. Then we'll compare the results so that you can see the range of pull weights you can achieve with these parts. First up, the totally stock Smith & Wesson 22 Victory. Next, the gun with just the thunder hammer. Now, the gun with just the victory trigger.
Finally, a gun with both mods, the Thunder Hammer and the Victory Trigger. Now for all of these trials, I've been pulling in the middle of the trigger to keep things fair, because with the curved stock trigger, you have no choice but to pull in the middle. With a flat face trigger though, like our victory trigger, you can pull at the bottom, which gives you more leverage and thus a lower trigger pull weight. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do two more trials for each of the combinations of mods that had the flat face trigger. I'll pull at the bottom and show you just how much it improves the trigger action. Here's the one with just the victory trigger again, except now I'm pulling at the bottom. And here's the one with both mods, but now I'm pulling at the bottom. It's clear from these results just how big a difference our Thunder Hammer can make and just how customizable these differences are. If you want the absolute lowest trigger pull you can get, combine the Thunder Hammer with the Victory Trigger. But say you're in an NRA competition and you can't have a trigger pull under two pounds, then you would pick one or the other, the hammer or the trigger, to get the trigger pull exactly where you want it. Whatever your needs, the Thunder Hammer can help you get there. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions about this video, be sure to let us know in the comments. And don't forget to click that subscribe button and the little bell icon next to it to be sure that you get notifications when we upload new content. You can also find us on other social media sites like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And you can find the Thunder Hammer, the Victory Trigger, and all kinds of other products for all kinds of other guns at www.tandemcross.com. Until next time.